When working in 3D, sometimes you may need to turn an object into a wireframe. Turns out inside Houdini, it's not super difficult to do, so that's what I wanted to cover today. So let's drop a geometry node in here to start off with, if I can find the right letter. Geometry node, and then we need some geometry to actually do this on, so let's do the peg head test geometry. So we'll drop in the node that's going to drive the wireframe, which is going to be an ends node. So once I wire this up and I give it a close U, I can change this to an open, and you see that we now have a wireframe. Now, depending on your geometry, you may have to change some different settings in here. Open may not work. You may have to use some of these other ones, but for this case, open will work just fine. And you can actually do some cool stuff where you animate on your wireframe. And you can simply do that by dropping in a carve node after the ends. Now, if I activate this second U, you can see if I lower this down, you can see that our object kind of disappears here. As I raise this up, it starts to draw on the wireframe, which is pretty cool. You can do some pretty interesting effects with that. Now, to get the wireframe, all you have to do is drop in a poly wire node. And let's drop this wire radius down to something like 0, 0, 002. And you can see that we've got a nice little wireframe going. If I set this all the way up to 100%, you can see we got our full wireframe of our object. Now, this will also work with a animated geometry as well. So just to demonstrate that, let's drop in the test geometry of the Crag, Craig, I don't know what you want to call it. And this is packed to by, off of default, so we need to unpack that. So we'll drop in an unpack node and we'll wire that up. And we'll give it some time here and it will calculate. And let's go ahead, we'll just drop this wire radius just a little bit more, maybe like a 0 0.008. And that just gives us a little bit of a finer line here. Now, like I said, this does work with animated geometry, which this is animated. So if I change the frame here, you can see that it has changed. So if you want this to play smoothly, you would need to cache it or something like that, or export it out as an Olympic, and then it would run a little bit smoother. But this does the job just fine. And this still has the capability of working with the car view. So if you wanted to draw him on as he is kind of animating along, then you can do that. Do some nice cool effects with these three simple nodes, or yeah, I guess three simple nodes. And you can do awesome stuff with this. It's a lot of stuff that would be used, I would say probably more in motion graphics type, type situations, but it can be used for some other stuff as well. Especially this carve node. The carve node is used for a lot of different things. So just uh, play around with that, see what kind of cool stuff you can come up with. But anyways, hopefully that helped you out and figure out how you can draw on some poly wires to your geometry if you don't have the ability to do it in uh, your render at render time or if you wanted to uh, use it for something else, you can do it simply by doing the, this three little node setup. Anyways, if this helps you out, make sure you guys leave a like. I do have a bunch of other videos on my channel that go over a bunch of stuff inside Houdini as well as some stuff on Cinema 4D. Redshift and Clarice as well. Got some other stuff planned for the future to do with Clarice and some interesting stuff with Houdini. So keep an eye out for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.